It is up everyone. This is Captain Eon speaking. And today I'd like to share from chapter 1 verse 6 around the idea of in the beloved. Today as I listen to God really teach me what I believe on the oneness of everything that he is about. It really caused my mind to flash back or flash onto this idea of structural integrity and how vitally important it is to so many on so many different levels. The most recent example of this I can think of is uh, in South Florida, not that long ago, a few years now ago, there was a high rise building that actually experienced a partial collapse. And of course, in the aftermath, there were so many lives that were negatively affected by this traumatic experience. And I realized that this resulted from a lack of several different individual groups being locked in to their specific set of responsibilities. The first thing that I realized how this pertains to my spiritual life is that I must first walk in the good works that Christ first did on the way to fully acquiring the promise inheritance. I am an heir. But it is only on that uh, judgment day where the hope and belief is that when the Lord looks over my life and deems a life lived well done, at that moment in the glorified body is when I get to receive the inheritance completely. But until then, I must walk on the way to acquisition. This, of course, as God again was speaking to me, specifically through um, verses 11 to 21 of chapter 2, about this oneness, the importance of structural integrity, first within myself, you know, and up until this point, I was really dealing with this issue. And I've realized wrestling with old man and new man unnecessarily. Because God is showing me that this oneness found in Christ, it completely um, puts the old man under the new man's foot there's only room for one and that victory is one in Jesus alone so it equates with my oneness within you know the structural integrity within because a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways so this duality this struggle this wrestling within is a place of weakness and therefore can I not am I not able to um, stay structurally intact in myself but then on the bigger picture within the body of Christ I become a weak link and in both instances especially the effect on the brethren the fellow beloved 
that is really horrendous and something I would like to avoid at all costs. So, today really God just provides another lesson for me on the importance of being sound, of constantly staying on his wheel, um, not being afraid to be refined, but welcoming it because all it does is free me of the impurities that can contribute to a faulty structure within me and then again ultimately as I'm fit within the body because God is really building all things in him for his glory and he's doing that in a spirit of oneness and togetherness because ultimately the structural integrity of the beloved church of God in his only begotten just has the sole purpose of revealing the manifold wisdom that he is being made known to the world through his church as the winds of change blow the tide is rising this body that he is building up will remain solid and steadfast throughout all the ages Capti on this. There are no violations found within the building plan of God. Sir.